Building Science Breakdown. Don't forget, if you wanna make sure you stay up to date with all of the information we share regularly, hit that subscribe button. I am, as always, joined by Phil and Sergio. I'm glad I got that right. And of course, myself here, giving you guys these regular installments. So we're excited to be um, explaining to you guys today something that came in as a request, actually. We talk about testing and somebody asked a question about the process and the testing that's involved. And we're gonna walk through specifically these assemblies that we tested last month. So the first step during testing is the air leakage test, which is the ASTM 283. So when we test for air leakage, you do material testing, then you transition into assembly testing, and then you transition into your whole building testing. So that's really interesting. So everyone just, you know, we always like to start with ASTM E283, hmm. and then on your job site, you might have to do that whole building test. So I love that magnitude. So it really gets you an understanding. When you do this test with us here, we'll give you that assembly value. I know, Phil, as we look at these air leakage tests, it's related back to like energy codes. And I know some cities are adopting even lower values that they need to achieve. Sure. I mean, as we start to look at, you know, net zero, super high efficiency buildings, they're going to have to build tighter and tighter and tighter. And that's what 283 really does is allows you to check that airflow through your wall, through your assembly. We want to make sure that that's airtight and then we'll take to the next step, which is watertight. Right, yeah, so tell us about that next step. ASM E331. Sure, so 331, uh, it's a 15 minute test. We turn on the spray racks. A ton of water is coming off these assemblies. The, the amount of water, if it, what is it, eight inches of water per hour, cascading down the face of this to truly test that assembly while you're pulling that pressure to try, like as Phil said, to suck that water through. So that is that is something we do all the time when we test our assemblies, air leakage and then water leakage. Now for these panels themselves, we also wanted to do ASTM E2357. So that's the next stage for the, the assemblies we have here. So talk to me about that. So ASTM 2357 is aimed to fatigue the elements of the wall, like the joints and uh, any seams that you might have. You're putting the wind gusts, you're doing different cycling, a thousand cycles at a thousand pascals, and then wind gusts at 1200 pascals. Yeah. So why, why would we do that, the 2357? What are we trying to do? Well, in the real world, buildings move, and we're trying to understand how our products would perform after the fatigue that goes in the actual building itself. And so it gives us that ability to start to see, you're basically, racking and jostling up that assembly so that we can start to see is anything happening because we already had the baseline right we did air leakage we did water leakage now we're doing this more with the wind gust more of a deflection test process and then what do we do after we do that so then we're going to go back <laughs> to where we started yeah and test again for air and water you're then going to see if, if that fatigue cycle deteriorated any of the wall what's really great is this testing is customizable we only mentioned of some of the tests that we can do here. So there's even more than what we mentioned today. But what we really wanna be able to do is sit down and talk with you and find out what performance needs does your structure have, depending on where you're building it, what use it has, and how many stories it's gonna be. All of those three things factor into a performance that you're looking for for your specific building. So that's a conversation we like to have. We wanna sit down and say, okay, what are we, what's the end game? What's our goal? And then we can back into what that testing that we need to do here to be able to answer those questions. So. Great opportunity for us to work with you. Um, so if you have something like that, uh, please you know, reach out. But as always, hit that subscribe button so that you can stay up to date with us on a regular basis. And for now, um, we'll see you next time when we bring you more information as to what's going on. Thanks for watching. What did you think of that episode? Leave a comment down below with your thoughts and don't forget to give us a like. Are you interested in seeing more content like this? Hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with all our videos and we'll see you next time.